Hello, welcome to Oliver and Kelsey's movie and TV database website. <laughs> um, here you can search your favorite movie or TV show, or even actor, actress, or producer of a said TV show. So, here if we search for Zoolander, everyone's personal favorite. We wait a little bit, it takes a little while, but once that pops up, we will see a row here in our table that is Zoolander. Now let's say we wanted to see some things that match Zoolander, maybe not exactly, but we could put a star here in the beginning and end of Zoolander, and we'll get anything that matches um, something Zoolander something. So you press search. There are other search parameters, you may search for people as well, so if we were to go here and select a different, select people and search a person, it would happen, they, the same thing would happen. So here we see Zoolander and a bunch of different kinds, um, the, the headers here, the title, the type of movie, the release year, and the end year, if it's, it was a TV show that ended. Um, for the people, they have different headers, such as their birth and death year, and um, what their profession is. So, let's go ahead and look at our favorite movie, Zoolander. Press on it, and the, the page is dynamically generated. Here we have the title of the movie, what kind of movie it is, it's a movie, it's start year, it's end year, it's null because it's a TV show, so there are no, there is no end year, the runtime genre. Um, so, and so on. There's a top build cast for people that are in the movie that you might want to see. Um, you can edit this, so um, let's say Zoolander is kind of a mystery movie, so we'll add the mystery genre to it. And um, if you wanted to maybe get rid of the movie, but then you think that was a mistake, you could add that movie genre back in. When you press save, it'll update the database and save those changes. Now, if you want to go to one of these stars, you may press on any of them, like Will Ferrell. Let's, let's check out his webpage. Look at that handsome guy right there. Look at that hair. He's got really curly hair. I've never really noticed. He's got really thick hair, too. That's weird. Anyways, um, here's his name, um, titles that he's known for, Anchorman, Blades of Gory, also great movies. Um, you can do the same thing with actors all, and edit their page. It's a little bit different because here you can edit their birth year. So maybe we think Will Ferrell was actually born in um, the 1920s. Good old uh, Great Gatsby here. Um, and actually, <laughs> he died in uh, ni 1950 at the ripe, the, ripe. <laughs> the ripe old age of 30. Um, <laughs> and actually, I... I think he did was born a woman, so <laughs> change him to an actress. Um, we can save, and it'll update the database. Um, we could go back to the home page and search for Will Ferrell again. Go to people. Hopefully, I spelled his name right. I did not, so uh, let's see, Will Farrell. <laughs> I don't know how to spell his name, unfortunately. Really putting a downer on this search. As we can see, the headers are different than they were before. Um, since I don't remember how to spell his name, we'll check out Zoolander again. Where will we'll go? and see that the changes that we made to Zoolander, it should now be a mystery genre if we load the page again. Um, there we go. Page loads pretty quickly, and, and now we can see that it is a movie mystery. And if we go to Will Ferrell, to his, link to his page, we can retrieve that information. The web page is loading. We need to actually refresh the page. It is an E, F E R. There we go. So we can now see that he is an actress and was born in 1920 and died in 1950. If you want to learn more about us, you can go to the About page. Here I am and Kelsey. 
the about tool and that's it.